boys. Congratulations, V, uh, on a hard-fought victory today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We needed this. We needed this. Um, <clears throat> first, I want to say when I saw the lineup, I was like, Pep, Pep's doing what he's got to do. I know there's only one game a week now, but he's showing trust in players, right? He didn't play his strongest 11. He had some good rotation, a good mix. And I was happy with the performance. Listen, I think I think Wood might have watched a fail comp of Darwin Nunes before the game because that could have easily been a 1-1 going into halftime or even, even Forrest being up. So, listen, Nunes is still affecting the league in a negative way if you're watching his comps. The result that we got, I'm happy with it. I'm absolutely happy with it. KDB, Holland, how many minutes was he on the pitch and he scored? It's kind of routine. You guys think that I kind of make this up when I go along and I'm saying games are going to be tough, but Forrest was a tough game to deal with three days later. They made it difficult for us. If we just won this game 1-0, I would have been calm with it. 2-0, even better. Next next up, we got to deal with Wolves. And it's game after game. Is the advantage us? Yeah, we got games in hand. And we're up, pretty much. We win what we got to win, and we win this league. I think it might be poetic. And I'm talking to Hussam right now. It might be poetic for Arsenal to actually experience winning out the remaining games. City winning out the remaining games and for them to feel the hurt, feel that pain that you've had to feel chasing a title before. It might be it might be poetic in terms of what it means or how good you have to be to win this league. But Terry, there's not much to say, man. We win, we I don't know why I live rent free in your head. You just beat Nottingham Forest in a title run in. I'm just here to say my thoughts on the game. And you see me here and you start mentioning Nunez and so rent free in your head. You need to pay me. I'm not trying to be in your your head for free. Hussam, you're you know, not Liverpool. I'm speaking. When you when you you're not Liverpool. I, I'm I'm here to just talk about the City Forest game. That's what I'm. Here and to I do. talked I'm about. Here. I think is Wood put on match reaction or is this City match reaction? You sound All like right. Pep in a press All conference. Let me let me hear you only. Let me hear you only speak of really City then. Today. Wolves is going to be tough. West Ham is going to be. You sound like Pep Guardiola in a press conference, like. You, you clearly listen to him and just repeat what he says on the football terrace, you know. But when it comes to the game Either today, when yeah. you win the league, uh, you make sure you give Chris Wood a, a, a medal, you know. I think you should all uh, mail Chris Wood a, a Premier League medal after you win the league today because that guy could have scored a super hat-trick alone by himself. Who, who did he look like? Who did he look like? Can I, can I speak, Vater? Or are you going to keep interrupting me? Thank you very much. I'm on the big screen now. I didn't interrupt you. So anyway... um. Yeah, uh, Darwin Darwin uh, Wood today could have had a hat trick, a super hat trick by himself. Absolutely useless. Uh, you know the PGMOL once again. You know here's the thing that people need to understand. Arsenal fans, I I feel your pain when you're competing against Man. City, you're competing against Manchester City, Pep Guardiola, the referee association, PGMOL, the offside linesman, the fourth official. And you're also competing against your, the, the, the team that's playing them striker because for some reason he forgets how to score goals. He forgets how to take the, the put the ball in the back of the net. Chris Wood today missed about four tappings that any of us on the panel could have scored. I'm not even exaggerating. Um, and Manchester City today, by the way, if you guys think I'm lying, go look at the XG. Nothing of Forest XG 2. Manchester City XG 0 0.8. Go look at it. The XG philosophy. Look at it, read it yourself. I'm not making shit up. Forrest could have, could have, yeah, they had four tappings they could have scored. But Manchester City are boring as hell. Uh, you know, they do their thing and all this. But uh, when Terry was speaking, I had to go just take a five-minute power nap to be able to do the stream because Manchester City bore me to death. I, I cannot see a more boring football club to watch in my entire life. I think, you know, listening to Vater speak is more entertaining than watching Manchester City. They're so fucking boring. I have no idea how Man City fans watch the shit week in, week out without falling asleep. I think they need to start giving your people a blanket the Etihad. It's so boring. No, to watch. I actually have Callum to say... Adoy, by the way, you could tell he's a Chelsea player, dribbles fantastically well. When it comes to doing anything on the on the, at the end of it, nothing. You know him. It's just perfect Chelsea player. Should have stayed at Chelsea. That's just the the type. Of I'm gonna. I wanna. I wanna say something to them. To be honest with you guys, oh, I actually for the, I actually think for the good of football, we all need to need Arsenal to win the league. Oh, yeah. I'm guy. genuinely being serious here. 
Yes, I'm with If you. anyone that watches football, remove your fan hat, you you remove your tribalism hat, and you have to watch this and think, this team is about to win their fourth league title in a row. They're brilliant. They're amazing. Pep Guardiola is fantastic. Getting the best out of everyone. I'm not slagging City. I am not. Wallahi, I'm not. You guys are brilliant. About to amazing. About to Your guys are amazing. You guys are brilliant. You have the best coach ever to coach in a league ever, right? But for the good of football, you guys really need to let it go. Like that because everything goes your way. The luck goes your way. Your the calls go your way. Everything goes your way. Right? For the whole season. If this season end up you winning, and also, and I'm gonna tell you one thing. Why is the Spurs game against Manchester City the last game of the season? It's not second last. Even at that time, Spurs might have been already out of the Champions League. So why is it there? Why isn't Spurs game against Man City early? Why did why did they have to schedule that game late? And I, I, to be honest, why why does that game why because we all know that this game will end up with Spurs rolling over for Arsenal. For for Man City because no, don't know Spurs fans okay listen Spurs fans literally said that we would rather not make Champions League than Arsenal win the, the Premier League. The and I, I I promise you if we make a poll, if we ask a thousand Spurs fans, right, nine hundred of them will say we would rather not make yeah. the Champions League. It's the first year of our project. Then we live in London or we live another season when yeah. Arsenal are the champions. Because Why they know did what's the good Premier for League schedule that game that late? Why didn't it get shoved in the middle of the uh, of the week somewhere? Why is it, why is it at the end of the league? If it, because I'm being serious, I'm being genuinely no, serious. No. Why all the 50 50 calls in this season? I'm gonna give you a 50 50 call. Arsenal against Newcastle, right? The ball went out. The linesman could have called it out early and wait for it to happen. The referee looking at Gabriel could have called that. And I'm not an Arsenal fan, and I'm just saying. Again, wait, 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 hold on. You're going back to the Newcastle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arsenal? oh because, my God. Here we go. I'm going to tell you why I'm going back. I thought back this to was the... a city Let reaction, me... but go yeah, ahead. Yeah, do yeah. what you got to do. Go ahead, Mo. You know why? Do you know why, Vater? It because wasn't a city the... reaction when you were talking about Nunez. Yeah, because at the end of the I day. I compared him with Wood, and you did the exact same because thing. At the end of... <laughs> Vater, Vater, because at the end of the day, Vater, you are challenging Arsenal, and you might win the league in the last game, right? So all these small margins, the Rodri handball, the red card against Brighton uh, that wasn't given for Liverpool, the goal against Spurs that was not the given for Liverpool. Yeah, all, the penalty, McAllister. Yeah. The penalty. No, could no, no. Two Liverpool are out. At the end of the Mo, game. Mo, can I ask you a question? On, the, on those decisions, can I ask you a question, Mo? Do you think that they were lucky not to concede a penalty when Edison smashed into Willy Bolly? Of course. That's a penalty. Oh. Hold on. We saw no, no, with no, no, Onana no. yesterday. What do you mean? Oh, I it's the same the shit. Other, okay, to be honest, I thought that was the other way. Same thing that happened with Onana. Smashed into him. Yeah, okay. So now Ederson can oh, jump in and smash on. the shit out of the guy. Bro, he boxed him. Are yeah. we watching MMA or are we watching football? Let me watch it again. I'm going to watch it again yeah, while you guys talk. Again. So watch I can it. actually give a fair assessment so I won't lie. Go ahead. Ederson came out and he I don't lie. I never lie. I never lie. You fly punch the guy. Uh, there's no tears. He's it was 50 50. I'm not mad at that at all. On the chat, you would have all supported Everton if the Sheikh bought Everton. So, listen, no, but that, that's, that's you are, you, point. listen, you're sexually attracted to trophies. That's what you are. So, no, just leave me true. alone. You get me? There's no tears. Truth hurts you. Truth hurts you. And the truth is, today, Forrest should have had a penalty and they should have scored four goals. That's just the reality. So no, that's start. not the truth. The hardest thing don't to do in start. football is to score goals. You've seen your own man not able to score goals, but you want to say, Chris Wood should have scored those. Again. No, play. you're making a point that what you saw should be goals. No, it should not Make be your goals. point without mentioning Liverpool. I dare you. Here, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to mute my mic here. The most difficult thing in football is to score a goal. All right? We all support our clubs. We've seen our players miss chances. Chris Wood missed chances. Just because he missed, Hold on. you're going to hear you're going to hear yourself say it should have been a goal. No, because we all miss goals, and he missed. He was not good enough on the day. Now, this wanting and going back, Mo, going back to past calls, this all the way going back to the Newcastle game. Come on, man. You're better than this. We're dealing about today's game. Today's game had to see City get the result and move on. And that's what we, that's what they did. The, the best thing for this game, the best thing for this league is for it to go to the final day. Okay, now, hold on. I want to say something here. Why did Simon Hooper look at it 
and give a free kick to City. It goes back to the point that we always say. For Manchester City, we give the call to Man City. You know why? And then we see it's a clear and obvious. While for, for, yeah, for Onana, the guy didn't give a call the other day. They didn't give a call and waited for VAR. Like Simon Hooper could not wait. I'll tell you why. I'll could tell you not why. wait to whistle to give the call to Man City and then wait for VAR if it's clear and obvious to correct him. Why? You, Can I'll someone tell you explain why. to me I'll why didn't he why. let it go if they both crash into each other? Because clearly Edison is also going forward. Edison aren't going for the ball. The one who played the ball is Akanji. Akanji cleared the ball. Why is Ederson going forward, smashing into Willy Bolly? Maybe Willy Bolly is going to him. But why didn't, <laughs> why the referee, clearly. What okay, is going Nathan, on here? Explain to me why the referee was so quick to whistle the call for Man City when none of them got the ball, right? And then wait for VAR to correct. Can you explain? What was the correction? Because he whistled the ball for Man City and it ended up being a ball for Manchester City. So what's yeah. the problem here? He whistled it, right? Oh, he whistled Akanji it on the field. The, the problem is, this is not no, WWE. That's I'm, the problem. Oh my gosh, let me explain. Which, which one is that? Go we'll ask the question. Harry, can you we'll just put it on the screen what again? What is the foul? What no, is we don't foul? need to put it on the screen again. What? Uh, so okay, so how is this not a foul? Explain it to me. Go on. Akanji That's clearing the ball. Here, Akanji what, clearing what, what the ball. It was called yesterday. It was called yesterday. I think Akanji clears the ball, so at the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything. And well, yesterday, Onana, Onana, we're not talking about Onana, yesterday. Nobody this guy, touched is collided with, 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 with this guy is saying this is a collision when Ederson is jumping with both arms clenched. Oh, together, you're trying to judge a still image. A Come on, guys, you're before. better than this. No, you're, you're better than no, this. No, 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 I'm not allowed to say just the penalty or not. I'm not with Hussein. You're, you're I'm crying not. because see, yeah, I'm everyone is 115 in the chat. I am not, I'm not with Hussein, okay. I, I'm not going to say this is a penalty or not a penalty because both of them are jumping each, into each other. Akanji clears the ball. My my problem, guys, is that for, I'm going to keep repeating this again until you guys realize. For Manchester City, the call gets given to Manchester yeah. City and then we see what happens. If yeah. It's clear and obvious. While for other teams, it's a no, no, no. no we give I'll... the call again, it's them. And then we see if VAR corrects or not. Let me tell you. Today for Arsenal, in front of him, right? Why would Declan talk? Rice is kicking Ben Davis. He chose not to give it until it's like the bar is like, well, you know what? This is very clear. You you gotta look at it. He's looking at Declan Rice kicking Ben Davis, and he chose not to give it, right? He's looking at Gabriel, right? <laughs> Being put. I am being I'm listen. This is I'm not saying this is a penalty or not. I'm giving you what that's happens that's in the penalty. Yeah, Mo, I, I hear what I'm you're saying, Mo. Up. Let me, let me say this now. A kanji clearing it is irrelevant. I'll tell you why. It's, if we're going to debate this properly, a kanji clearing it is irrelevant. I'll give you. I'll tell you why. Fair kanji clears it, but Edison then puts his foot into the player behind him face. It's still a foul, right? Just because a kanji cleared the ball doesn't stop it from being a foul. I want. I want to put it. I want to put it into the, the screen here so you guys can see it. It is a coming together. Okay, but as you can see, as this moves forward, it's the arms of the goalkeeper that smash into the player. They're both moving at the same time, right? It's the arms that smash into his head, or you could say it's his head that smash into his arms. Are we in, are we in agreement of that? The, the arms and heads meet at the same time. Is, is yeah, that a fair way of saying it? And look at his body, elbow. Body's moving though. towards him. Okay, okay, okay. But look, but he's, yeah, yeah, but hang on, hang on, just, hang on, just, guys, we do this sensibly. So we can all agree that head and arms are the first things to touch each other, yes or no? Yes. Of both yes. players, right, Terry? You're looking at the yes, fourth player and yes, his yes, elbow yes, get yes, colliding yes, with Ederson, hang right? Hang on a minute. Just please answer my question so that we can follow this thoroughly. We are all in agreement that it's arms and head are the first two parts of the body to collide, yes or no? Yes. yes both players, yes. yes. Okay, cool. So the reason why I think it needs to be discussed or at least debated is this. If two defenders go to header a ball mm -hmm. and their heads clash, it's never a foul, is it? Have you ever seen a head clash between players be given as a foul? No. 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 So if a defender's going in with his head to win the ball, yep. if he then clashes into somebody, it's never a foul. But nope. the fact that the goalkeeper has used his arms, that is a foul, surely. No. Why, is it diff why not? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's simple. If, <laughs> if Edison's moved that way, but ball is moving towards him, he's not like a ghost. He's not going to disappear. He has, Bone is the one who's fouling him because he's moving towards Edison. 
Got his arms there. Oh, he's oh, oh, yeah, moving yeah. towards Edison like a fraud. And he's hit that down. He's hitting in front of Edison. Comedy, comedy show so now. The guy's a fraud. Let me also add to that. Is this, 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 this stand-up comedy? Is this stand-up comedy? No, it's not stand-up comedy. Let me also add to this. The reason why it's not a foul, Terry, is because unlike the defender, Ederson or keepers can play with their hand, right? So yes. think of his hand as the as a defender's head. He can play towards the ball using his hands as a defender can play using his head so, towards the ball. So, so, so based on okay, so based on what you're saying, Onana shouldn't have been a foul yesterday because his arm that hit him. I didn't his watch head. the game. I didn't watch the game. So, but that, that's, but that's where I think you're. I get your. I get your logic. I'm only dealing think, with today. I get. I get where your logic is, but we have, we saw. I'll tell you why. Hang on, please let me finish. We saw Onana hit. Arm hit a player's head. It was a penalty. We saw at the World Cup, famously, uh, Lloris come out to punch a ball. He misses the ball and punches a player's head. That wasn't treated like a head clash. Head clashes, and I'll give you a prime example. When David Luis cracked the skull of um, hey, Jimenez, it wasn't given as a penalty or a free kick. It's just a clash of heads. It's, it's almost the only time in football you can actually be late to a ball. Even if a player wins a ball, with a head first, and then there's a clash of heads. You never see anyone sent off. You, it's, one, it's one of those kind of unwritten rules within the game. So my point in this is, Willie Bowley's gone to win the ball with his head. Akanji's yeah. cleared it. But the goalkeeper's got his arms out and hits him. So I just want to understand, is it the speed that Willie Bowley's moving at? If he was Willie standing Bowley more still... Yeah, but the goalkeeper's coming out the same time. They're both moving like this uh, towards no, the ball. No, 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 Hamza, Hamza, that's not the case. We can slow it down yeah. again here. You, you can see... You can see they're both moving towards each other, okay? You can see they both move towards each other, what right? That's, 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 so is it? Is it maybe – I'm trying to be fair here. Do you think that it didn't get given because Willy Bowley is the stronger player and go and, and kind of wins oh. the physical challenge? If it was yeah. the other way around, if Willy Bowley got hit and it was Willy Bowley laying on the floor with his head bleeding, would they then have given it maybe? Possibly, no, no. but the reason why I think it's not given is because it's literally, as you're going frame by frame, they uh, collide at the same time. And yep. Bowley's, Bowley's elbow, his forearm, is in Ederson's chest at the same time. Bad, yeah. so you could look at the head, you can look at his forearm, and you could look at Ederson making contact as well. I think it's and Onana's different. Onana's different. Onana went and punched the player. Bloody hell. Assault. I, I mean, I mean it's just... I mean, I mean it's, it's exactly the same for me. Both goalkeepers have gone to try and punch the ball. They've not got the ball and they've hit a player in the head. But nah. this is, well, I think I think the only difference between the two things is the for, the 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 it'd be played Burnley player yesterday was kind of jumping up vertically where our goalkeeper came out into him. This is more of a 50-50, I agree. I've seen people in the comments section say it. But I'm just trying to again, I would love to sit with the referees and ask them these questions and say, well, if it was two head clashes, you'd it would be nothing. If a goalie's arms are out, how do you judge it? These are the kind of questions that the Michael Owens, when he does his show with Howard Webb, should be asking. So we all get a better understanding and it helps us in our assessments. But it was a 50-50. I do get where Mo's coming from, though. But you know when it's a 50-50, it never goes against Man City ever. I'll explain. So.